Main Seed Potato Board Porter Farm, which is located in Masardis. Uh, the facility's been here since 1946. Uh, main uh, seed growers back then decided that they needed to have a facility that was going to enable them to uh, have early generation seed potatoes provided to them uh, locally and they uh, invested in this facility in 1946 and it's when it started. Uh, today the facility runs much like it did uh, back in 1946 where uh, they have you know, tissue culture material, uh, goes through greenhouse production and into field production for year one, two, and three seed uh, that's sold uh, mainly to Maine seed growers. Uh, the business has changed over the years as varieties come and varieties go, but uh, the bulk of the business is for the major varieties grown in Maine. Uh, some varieties are grown for some of our organic growers, which are you know smaller volumes. Uh, some sold as mini tubers, and some sold as, as field field grown also. Uh, the facility, when it was established and when the Maine Seed Potato, Potato Board was created, uh, it was underneath the Maine Department of Agriculture, which it remained there from 1946 until 2010. And in 2009, uh, due to budget constraints and some ongoing issues uh, in trying to run a farm uh, under state government, uh, the state legislature uh, introduced legislation that moved the operations and oversight from the Maine Department of Agriculture to the Maine Potato Board. So in January of 2010, uh, the Maine Potato Board uh, became responsible for the operations and oversight of the facility. Uh, the main seed potato board and its structures uh, still exist today, but now that is under the potato board. The biggest reason for doing that is uh, you needed to get management closer to the facility rather than the state capital 180 miles away. Uh, it needed to be closer, which it is now. Uh, and also the ability to uh, run it more like a business. Uh, you know, it was very difficult to operate under state government with the restraints uh, that are there and uh, for the last three crops in the last two years uh, we've been able to run it more like a business and we've invested a substantial amount of money uh, into the facility in new greenhouses or in a new greenhouse and uh, also in repairs to buildings and equipment uh, that hadn't been done for a number of years and uh, it's really starting I think to uh, prove itself to be the right decision uh, in that we've been able to uh, you know, build some of our business back that we had lost. Uh, when we took the farm over, there was 54 acres grown here of early generation seed. Uh, in two years, we're now up to about 75 acres of early generation seed. And I think we can probably in another year, we'll see some more growth onto that. Uh, it needed to happen uh, to have a substantial volume enough to you know, be able to sustain the, the operation. And, uh, you know, I think it's showing that the industry uh, growers in Maine uh, have been very supportive and, you know, looking for a sound, good quality uh, seed source that we can provide. What we do is the same. How we do it has changed drastically. Uh, you know, it's changed just like growers have changed and how they've done, you know, raised their crop 46 to today uh, we have here. Uh, in the last three years, we've changed from uh, not having uh, any soil in our greenhouses, uh, any, uh, we go to, uh, it's all a hydroponic system now. That was put in place three years ago with a new greenhouse. Uh, it was a learning process, and now that we've got three years behind us, I think we've got it down to a pretty good science. But it was enabling us to uh, have uh, better production, more quality, uh, better quality, uh, and uh, have uh, being able to propagate material faster to get it out to commercial growers. So uh, that was the biggest change, I guess, uh, technology on the farm. Uh, and like I said, it was, a, it was a learning curve, but we've got to the point now where we've, you know, we've got a pretty good handle on it, uh, so that we're running two greenhouses that uh, were pretty much at capacity. Uh, and we think there's some potential for further growth there. Uh, but like with any good business plan, you kind of got to make sure the business is there and you can do it before we make that additional investment.